Hey folks, it's Mark Dispersed Camp Man, and I am currently dispersed camp in the uh, Ozark National Forest. Uh, in order to get here uh, from Interstate 40, you're getting off at the uh, Ozark exit, which is probably the uh, largest town close to here, which is about 20 miles from here. From uh, I-40, you'll be going to Highway 23 and shooting up north. Then you turn left onto Highway 215, then left onto Forest Road 15. 04 which is this one right here take a look i'm probably about maybe a mile mile and a half from the uh highway and this is uh forest road 1504 which is a pretty good road and on down the road there is uh, several more dispersed cabin spots you can choose from if you want but this one is the one i chose to uh, disperse camp at right now it does seem like there's a lot of space, but uh, it is kind of uh, uneven. Right where I'm parked at is the most level spot I could find right here. Which I have dispersed camped here before. Probably, I think my last one was probably about three, four, five years ago, I believe. I'll link it right up here at the video. Definitely, folks. Look at that view. Part of the Ozarks. It's been real quiet and peaceful out here, too. Already no traffic on the road. I am, I don't know if you could tell or not, but I am kind of perched on the side of a mountain right here. It's kind of hard to tell. But you can see the valley going down through there. And of course I did bring my uh, motorcycle, got it downloaded. Been uh, running up and down the uh, road. And got a pretty nice sized fire pit right here. There's hardly no trash in here whatsoever. Just got some, uh, some eggshells. Which is no big issue. And people's been keeping this place up good. I mean, there's like no trash whatsoever. Very happy. Very happy. And I did throw up a couple of uh, trail cams right here. I don't know if it's going to catch me or not. <clears throat> this is one of a couple of them I've got out. I got my uh, Wii Boost up, but <clears throat> this is a pretty good uh, cell service out here. I do lose a little bit of cell coverage as soon as I walk into my truck camper, since uh, it is all metal, like walking to a tin can. But some pretty good service out here, pretty strong signal. Like I said, I had to go all the way up on my ramps. Uh, like I said, this. Uh, this is like the most levelest spot I could find right here. You can probably tell it kind of goes uphill right through here. And most of you probably already know that I am probably going to be heading out west. Well, we'll be heading out west sometime next week. I'm probably leaving the 27th, 28th of December. And uh, spending uh, probably about three or four weeks uh, south of New Mexico. And shooting over into Arizona for the remainder of a couple months. I'll be going to the Quartzsite uh, RTR. And there's a truck camper uh, gathering up there also. I'll be going to the first week of February, I think. <clears throat> I said I'd go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and bring this with me too. I didn't bring it last time I went to out west. Well, I'm thinking this here is going to give me some more uh, extra room. What I've been carrying into this, uh, it's locked. <clears throat> what I've been carrying into this is my uh, generator, my external fuel tank, and I've got my uh, chairs in it. And <clears throat> uh, my extension cords, that's what I carry in that. It frees me up some space inside the back of my cab, too. Yeah. I'm getting excited about going out west It'll be next week. <clears throat> In addition to be bringing that uh, uh, front cargo rack with me and that box with me, 
for more storage. What I also added <clears throat> on my motorcycle rack, I've added some turnbuckles. I don't know if you can see or not, yeah. Those turnbuckles right there. I got one on this side and one on the other side. I got these off of Amazon, these turnbuckles here to my truck. And it's going to uh, keep my rack from going side to side and up and down. It's made it more solid. <clears throat> it's going to keep my uh, motorcycle from bouncing up and down and sideways. Coming up here, it worked pretty good. Other than my uh, front cargo rack I'm taking along with me and uh, added on those two turnbuckles, like I said, on the uh, on my uh, motorcycle carrier. That's pretty much the only thing I'm uh, doing different this time when I head out west. But look at this view, guys. Whew. Like I said earlier, this is I'm a, kind of like on the side of a mountain right here. I like this spot. It is kind of hard to get level, but look at that view. So here's a free camping, folks. Free dispersed camping out in the Ozark National Forest. I definitely prefer to be out here than in a campground for sure. Right there, folks, is Spy Rock. There's a trail way over there. About a mile, mile and a half of the road that leads you on top of there. And that place is called Spy Rock. Isn't that cool? From your camp spotting right here. From my camp spot, I can see Spy Rock right there. It doesn't look like nobody's on there, up there right now. And earlier today, I jumped on my motorcycle and I went up there and explored the top up there. Have a look. Yeah, folks, we are going to uh, Spy Rock up here. <clears throat> From my campground, from my camping spot right here, right there, Spy Rock. And I'm going to take the road out here and go up there, check out uh, Spy Rock. Come up here back up to the road and make it left. It ain't very far. I think it's like less than a mile up here. We'll be parking on the side of the road and uh, walking over to a trail. It's going to take us over to Spy Rock. That's right there. Got some pretty cool views up there. There it is right there. Yeah, folks, I'm uh, parked at the uh, trailhead to the Spy Rock. But <clears throat> this is kind of like a uh, ditch I'm parked in because I wanted to be off the road right here with my motorcycle. But if you look over here, yeah, I parked right out there. But if you look on the road right here, there is kind of like a little pull off right here on the side of the road probably fit a couple of vehicles and what you're going to look for is uh, this sign that's right up here it's going to say uh, spy rock on it and this is a pretty uh, popular little trail that comes across the road and right here you're going to see uh, a sign that says spy rock it's a hiker's trail, so there's uh, no ATVs and uh, no mountain biking, just uh, hiking. Yeah. And this is a pretty cool little trail. Some of you already know that uh, uh, next week, the last week of December, I'm going to be heading uh, out west. I'm going to be uh, checking out the uh, southern part of New Mexico on my way to Arizona. I think I got about four or five uh, spots I'm going to check out on a BLM land. And then uh, as the uh, quartzite RTR draws closer, I'll be heading closer to a quartzite. 
So it's probably about four or five spots in the south of New Mexico I want to check out. Then we roll it over to Arizona and checking out some more spots. I hope you guys be able to follow me on that trip. And all these trees and terrain is going to be a lot different when I start heading to New Mexico and Arizona. It's going to be pretty cool. Looks like we got some uh, tent campers. Made them a little spot right here, right off the trail. I don't blame them. Look at that view. This would be cool, tent camp right here. Look at the view. That right there looks like Spy Rock, folks. <clears throat> Not less than uh, half a mile on this trail. Up on Spy Rock. Let's take a look. Looks like there's a little camping spot up here. Somebody had a tent up here, tent camping. They had it going on right here. Oh yeah. Take a look at this. Looks like somebody else got another tent spot right here. Mm-mm-mm. I see why uh, it's called Spy Rock. You can spy on a lot of stuff up here. I'm kind of glad I'm here during the winter months because all the leaves off the trees, you can see further. Just look at that terrain. Pretty cool. It's getting a little windy. Look at that, folks. If you can tell or not <clears throat> let me zoom in real quick yeah that's the road came in on to get here there's the road and right there is where i'm camped at where are we at right there pretty cool there's my truck camper right there folks I think I was in camp and I showing you this uh, spy rock right here. I can even spy on my truck camper over there. <laughs> Not look like nobody's there, so I guess I'm still good. This is definitely a pretty cool view, folks. Let me go take you one more look around, guys. Starting off up there at uh, Spy Rock. Look at that view. Oh, looks like the sun's starting to go down. This has been a really pretty cool little uh, cabin spot right here. <clears throat> As always, folks, uh, I'm going to leave this great corner in the video description. And I'm also going to put this uh, spot on my Google Maps. And that link is on my uh, video description also. And I was uh, letting you know uh, when I was uh, hiking to Spy Rock, I mean, I am heading out west uh, sometime next week. And uh, I'll be spending about two or three weeks in north, uh, southern part of New Mexico before I'm heading over into Arizona. Hope you guys uh, like this video. And uh, I will be spending a lot of time on BLM land in uh, New Mexico and uh, Arizona. And uh, I'll be leaving a great corner for you guys if you guys want to check those spots out too. If you like this kind of a video, just go ahead and uh, hit that subscribe button, like button, and definitely leave a, uh, leave a comment. Uh, your comments and likes and sharing my video does help me with the uh, YouTube algorithm. Shoots my video out there and gets more views. Hey guys, appreciate you guys for watching, and uh, I guess I'll see you when I get to New Mexico. Hey guys, thanks for watching.